Hey, it's Paul, and here on the Friendly Viewer, we keep you up to date with the latest on the Netgear Orbi, so make sure to subscribe. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at Circle with Disney, which is now integrated in the Netgear Orbi, so let's take a look. In early December 2017, Netgear released firmware version 2.1.1.12 for the Orbi. This firmware update added the integrated Circle with Disney. To set up Circle with Disney, you first go to orbilogin.net, use the username admin, and the password that you use when you set up the system. Under the Basic tab, select Parental Controls. There you will see two options. You can only have one parental control system running, so you must decide if you want to disable the standard controls to enable the Circle with Disney controls. Click Enable next to Circle with Disney, and click Yes if the pop-up window shows up. Now hit Apply. Now you need to download the Circle app from the Apple or Google Play Store. Open the app and click Allow or Don't Allow. If you want to see notifications such as when someone joins your Wi-Fi, click Allow. To set up the app, click Great, then enter your name and email address, and then click Continue. Enter your phone number and click Next. Read the license agreement, and then click Create Account. Assuming you're successful, click Awesome to move on to the subscription selection. Basic is free and provides filtering, pausing, and history. We'll show that first, and then show how to upgrade to premium if you'd like. Click Try Basic, and then click Let's Go. Now you can start adding your profiles for your family, enter the name of the family member, and click Next. Now you can select the filter level. You can choose from Pre-K, Kid, Teen, Adult, or None. Inside each filter type, you can customize what is allowed. Click on the orange custom filter button on the bottom if you want to add a website that's not in the preset filters already. Once you're finished, click Done. Now select the devices that belong to that particular person and click Done again. You need to repeat this process for each member of the family. Once you've finished, now you have a few options in the basic version. The first thing you can do is pause the internet for the entire house by clicking the pause button or go into someone's profile and pause the internet just for them. The second thing you can do is view the history for a particular person. That can be really useful, but there's really not much more in the basic version other than fine tuning the filters. If you want more options, you can go to the premium mode. To do this, you hit the little present in the upper right hand corner of the home screen. There are many more options in the premium version, but it will cost you $4.99 a month for the service. If you want to check it out, you can click Start One Month Trial at the bottom of the screen. You'll need to click the Confirm One Month Trial. Be sure to note that this is going to start charging your iTunes account after the first month because it's a subscription, so make a note if you don't plan to continue this in your calendar to go and cancel that before the first month is up. Once in the premium mode, you'll now notice that you can select Circle Go for another additional fee that you can monitor your devices wherever you go, not just on your Wi-Fi system. When you go into any profile, you'll see a lot more options now. You can look at the internet usage by category. You can have the same filters as before. You can set up bedtime to disable the internet at night. You can enable time limits for many different platforms. The time limits can be set up for weekdays and weekends separately. You can set off time, which is pretty similar to bedtime, but just any time of the day and you have the same history information you had previously. The other thing you're going to notice is that inside each profile, you can pause the internet, but in addition, you can provide a reward. To provide a reward, you must have a time limit, an off time, or bedtime set up. You select that particular limit, and then select the amount of extra time that you want to add to it. Click Send to provide the reward. There's an alternate to using the integrated Circle with Disney if you'd like. You can also purchase the Circle with Disney as a device which connects to your router via Wi-Fi or an Ethernet cable. There's some trade-offs between the two methods. The device itself does not have a monthly fee unless you enable Go. Therefore, if you plan to use Circle with Disney with the premium features for over two years, it'd be cheaper to go with the device over the integrated system. On the other hand, the integrated system should allow for better speed since it doesn't have to go through another device or system. Also with the integrated system, you don't have any commitment, so if hardware changes or there's a new device that comes out, you can cancel at any time. So this is really a choice that you're gonna to have to make based on your needs, but it is nice that it is now integrated with the Orbi, so that option is there for you. 
So that leaves you with a couple options if you want to use parental controls. You have the Netgear Genie app, or you can use Circle with Disney. And then if you're picking Circle with Disney, you have the basic or premium option. And the premium has that monthly fee. And I guess if you really wanted to, you could probably go buy that Circle with Disney, the little box that connects to it, but you might have some network performance differences compared to the integrated one, which is probably better. So that's the decision that you're really gonna have to make. This has been Paul with the Circle with Disney integrated in the Netgear Orbi. Thank you for watching.